Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, hold on to get this big box right. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm actually going to be doing like a review slash tutorial on a brand new collection that has just launched with Colourpop. I got the whole collection sent to me in PR, which I'm really excited about, I'm really thankful for. So even though I did get it sent to me, if I hadn't have, I would have ended up buying it myself in there because I actually really like the palette and I love the... Super Shock highlighters that it comes with. It comes with three brand new highlighters, obviously in three shades. And the eyeshadow palette is really nice, it's really pretty. I'll obviously show you it. And then it comes with, I think, four lip glosses. They're like kind of like lipstick, lip gloss type situations. Kind of like a hybrid between a lip balm and a lip gloss, if that makes sense. And then four like gel, you know, they're cream gel eyeliners. These ones here. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place. So just showing these the palette, that's the packaging. Absolutely love it. It's a really nice summery themed makeup collection. It's really, really nice actually. So that's what the palette looks like there. And I have actually seen a couple of people on TikTok say that, oh, you know, Colourpop's done it again. We have a neutral palette with like a pop of colour in there. <laughs> I don't know why a lot of these tutorials last year where I would have done like a brown neutral smoky eye or something with like a pop of colour, like a pop of pink or a pop of blue or a pop of yellow or whatever, love it. It just kind of means that you have a lot of versatility with this palette as well, whereas you can go for like a nice neutral look or you can go for like a nice colour look or combine the two, okay? I really like it actually. So, I'm going to start on the eyes first of all because I have no idea. Okay, so I just went on ahead there and prepped my lids and I'm going to use some shadow shields today. Same whenever I'm trying to like figure out what to do with an eyeshadow palette. I kind of like in my head divide it into like four or like I kind of like, I like to divide the palette up and kind of see what we're working with with how the shades are actually laid out. So, if I kind of cover that side of the palette and cover these two shades here. Like those shades there are like a really nice combination of shades that you could do. Or if I cover, say, this side and the top two, but I have no hands at the minute. <laughs> you know, like the dark brown and them for a blue shades, like that's also like a really nice combination. You know what I mean? Or like even going along the way, like those four or those shades, or them shades, or, you know, I'm kind of trying to, you know, or like even, like, <laughs> this for, you know what I mean? I think I'm first off going to start with a bit of a transition shade. There's not a transition shade in this palette here, so I'm going to use just one of my own. I'm going to be using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Clientele palette. I'm taking the 01 brush from my brush collection, and I'm going to go into, I'm just going to take this shade here. Just the tiniest wee bit of it. And I'm just going to roughly just dust that just within the crease to kind of give me a wee bit of something. I'm also going to keep this palette pretty handy because I'm going to be using the black in it as well. <laughs> I always get really nervous whenever I'm just like going balls deep. <laughs> um... Right, yeah, so I'm going to take the Maven Beauty Waterproof Liquid Liner, the black one. So because I'm working with a liquid liner here, I'm going to try and work pretty quick, by the way. So I have these two wee brushes here. I'll just kind of show you them before I actually get into actually doing it, so I'm not fanning. So I'm taking the Colourpop E29. This is actually a really, really good wee smudging brush. And I'm also going to be taking the Buff and Blend BB02 brush, this wee, like, pointy type of one. And I'm just gonna go in and apply this liquid liner first of all, it just might in our corner. And I'm really gonna kind of exaggerate it like up and out. I'm kind of wanting to do an ombre moment. That's basically what I'm wanting to go for, but blend it out with this blue. And then grab my ColourPop brush. And I'm going to take a wee bit of the black from the clientele palette and just straight away pack that on top. Now I'm not taking any more product on this wee brush and just going in pattern motions. I'm going to start kind of still dragging up, creating my shape 
using the pattern motions. And using the pattern motions is obviously just going to not only apply the colour, but it's going to go. It's going to blend it as well. I wonder what I'd be able to use my 05. Screw it, we'll use my 05 actually. Um, this is obviously my brush collection with Buff and Blend. I'm going to take Hole in One, which is this matte dark brew. Dark brew! <laughs> dark blue. I'm going to start packing this on. I'm going to take this wee brush from What's Up Beauty, it's the R101. This like really pointy one here. And I go into that dark blue. So I want to use like a really nice pointy brush so I can pack on this shade and kind of keep it quite precise with my placement and stuff. This is Intense, this one here. And then I'm going to go back into Hole in One, which is the uh, dark blue. This actually has turned out nothing as to what I imagined it to look like. <laughs> well. <sighs> okay, I'm not exactly too sure whether I like this at the minute, but we're going to trust the process. I'm going to take these shadow shields off. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Please excuse the fake tan on my hands and stuff, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I have to excuse something about myself in every single video, whether it's my fake tan or my hands or somewhere or the colour of my foundation. <laughs> but I was at a festival or a couple of festivals last week, actually, and they're just, yeah, they're, they're a bit skanky looking. So, yeah, I've... Do you know what? I've, I've no idea where I'm going with this tutorial, this makeup tutorial. So I think I'm actually going to go on ahead and actually start my base makeup. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Face Base first of all. Oh goodness, this was far too much. <sighs> this just isn't my day. <laughs> and then for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover in the shade N6. N6. I think this is too dark for me. Do you know what? How bad can this tutorial get? Okay, it somewhat matches my tan. I'm gonna mix it a wee bit though with the NARS Punjab. Take two wee pumps of that. Sweet Jesus. Although, <laughs> we matched my body, okay? <laughs> and just taking like the excess product that's on my brush. And I'm just gonna do my forehead. Cause I don't really need to take any more product. Okay, I feel like this tutorial has just turned from uh, bad to slowly but surely getting worse. <laughs> My face is like a freaking tangerine and a shiny mess and I've just kind of realised that the eyeshadow is transparent to my lids. So I best get a move on with finishing off my face. But I'm going to take the NARS. Oh my word! That is a massive eyebrow hair! Are you kidding me? Get back to your designated seat, ma'am. I feel like this is something that I, I... I definitely get it off my dad. <laughs> my dad's eyebrows are... They can be pretty wild. They, uh, they also grow out the way. And I also have the same problem. <laughs> it's too funny. By the way, I've tried to put a lot of concealer on just to kind of balance like my face a wee bit. Now my foundation does match my my body and everything, but I still don't like my face to be like proper orange. 
This is honestly still such a favourite wee bronzer of mine. I absolutely love it. It's from Technique and it's the bronzer base. Just like their wee cream bronzer. Years and years ago. Well, it wasn't years and years ago. But quite some time ago, I raved about the... Shit. It's gone. It's gone. What brand was that cream bronzer? You know the cream bronzer I used to talk about all the time and it was like cheap as chips. It was like four or five pound. And it looked like this. <laughs> What brand was that? But you see, I'll be lying in bed tonight. <laughs> I'll be like four o'clock in the morning and I'll just wake up and be like, that was the brand. <laughs> uh, always happens. I actually really, really like this. I'm gonna use it again. I used this for the first time last week, I think it was. I had done like a full face of Makeup Revolution. I used a brand new little products and this was one of them and I was actually really, really nice. This is definitely like one of these products that I never, ever would purchase. So I'm just gonna take a wee bit of this. So see for like the, it's a handful of people. <laughs> Basically, I had put up a load of pictures during the week there of me and Kyle at the festival. And so many of you had been like, D, 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 what? I'm not even joking, guys. To see if this tutorial gets any worse, I'm just going to jump out my window. Literally, just jump out my window. So quite a few of you had been, no, as I say, like a handful of you. <laughs> um had DM'd me asking for like a makeup tutorial on the makeup I was wearing and I think I'll actually do it for you on Saturday because me and Kyle are actually going out for it's not like a date night but we're going out with another couple to have dinner and I think I'll actually like film the makeup for you because it's also like my go-to glam at the minute so it probably won't be up until next week if <laughs> I swear to god I just, I, I'm, I'm gonna go and open my window in preparation <laughs> So yeah, if I'm filming it this Saturday, it probably won't be up until like next week, so. But yeah, honestly, I'm so, so surprised about this wee product here. The Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. I know this is the pink one. I just bought it for literally like shits and gigs. But it has like the nicest wee subtle hint, obviously, of like a bit of pink. But it's actually just like a really nice wee product. Well, we kind of look at the highlights. Again, that's the packaging. Super, super pretty. And these are, of course, the Super Shock highlighters. So it just kind of means that the formulation of them is kind of like that potty-ish feel and texture that Colourpop would be known for. That's the actual component, which is really nice. So this one here is called Natch. Yeah, so this one's pretty dark. So obviously if you're darker skin, this is gonna be absolutely stunning. So I'm not gonna swatch these or anything just in case I wanna give them away to somebody. I don't wanna have my big sausage fingers dug into them. <laughs> I love the name of this one, Flip Flop. <laughs> Flip Flop, love it. Oh yeah, so this is actually going to be the shade that I will be using today and it's actually the only shade in the collection that will match my skin tone. So as you can see, it's like a really nice, like kind of like a champagne gold, kind of like with a silverish undertone. So that's what it looks like there. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Or as far as I can remember, this one has like a ready tone off it or something. Yeah, this one here. I also do think that if you are a darker skin as well, this would be absolutely beautiful. Like this shade would be absolutely gorgeous as like a, a blush topper for you. I absolutely love Colourpop's Super Shock Highlighters. But I do kind of find that whenever you're actually using a brush, you can use a brush, beat blender, your finger. But I do find that whenever you are using a brush, it can take you some time to actually like build up the product. Especially if you're wanting it quite intense. Um, I know not. I know a lot of people don't like really intense highlights these days, but I kind of do. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever grow out of that phase. <laughs> I suppose it kind of depends on like the mood that I'm in or like the makeup look or something but if I am going for something that's pretty full glam I want like a blending highlight there we go but this formulation as well like the super shock blushes highlights everything they're just so gorgeous they just melt into the skin they're just they're so nice 
and then I'm actually going to take a super shock blush. <laughs> Honestly, it's such a mouthful, I swear. Also from Colourpop, but it's in the shade Georgette. I wouldn't say it's peachy or anything, I would say it's more coral. So, I'm just going to apply some of this. Even like laid on top of each other, these products just literally melt like butter into the skin. They're so buildable, they're so blendable, they're so beginner friendly, honestly. Quickly onto a bronzer now, I'm going to take this palette from Be Perfect. Don't really need to bronze up that much, but I'm just going to apply a wee bit. Are we getting somewhere? So, I've just went on ahead and done a wee bit of shimmer on this eye to see where we're going. <laughs> and it still looks like crap, <laughs> but it, it looks a wee bit better than this situation here, okay? So, I'm gonna be taking this, see it first of all, just on any flat packing brush. I'm literally gonna be bringing it up into like the upper crease and everything. take this like slightly smaller wee brush I'm just going to use this to kind of blend it down so there isn't like a gap between the liner and the shimmer I have to say like see like a really bright blue shimmer like this I absolutely love it I'm going to go into Soaked which is this shade here in my viewfinder it kind of looks as if it's white but it's like a really pale 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 blue and I'm going to take a wee bit of that and pop that just in that inner corner. For it being such a pale colour, it's actually coming out quite nice, you know. It's quite pigmented. And so using that same brush, just go around the edges to kind of blend this shimmer out. changed my mind. <laughs> uh, I do not like this makeup look at all. This, I look like a freaking clown. I'm just kind of waiting for my lashes to dry by the way. So I'm going to be taking the Miss Kisses? What the f... Oh, this is the Miss Glam and Be Perfect Cosmetics lip liner. It's in the shade Miss Kisses, I'm guessing. It's the cheesiest thing ever. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's that colour there. <laughs> um, because I was actually looking to see if I had like an orangey lip liner, and I don't actually, because there's like an orangey lip product in here that I'm maybe wanting to use. Something's really drawn me into this gel eyeliner that I have from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This one, and then maybe using one of these as mascara or something. This is definitely more green, actually. Yeah, you can definitely see that it's more green, but hopefully it'll look okay. I'm gonna go back into the palette. And I'm going to take this shade here. <laughs> I feel like next minute I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm I'm over it. I'm over this makeup look. <laughs> and then I'm like, it doesn't look too bad. And then I'm like, no, I hate it. And then next minute I'm like, it's actually coming together. Then next minute I hate it. But I'm currently at the stage where I'm actually thinking it's not too bad. <laughs> These are Flux Lashes. I do apologise, I have no idea what style they are, but I will have it listed down below for you. Wow. 
we're maybe getting somewhere now. Oh well. Oh, <gasps> shit, Skay. I completely forgot about the actual eyeliners that came with the bloody collection. I don't actually think there's a blue one. See if there's a blue eyeliner in here, I'm gonna squeeze. <laughs> I think there is, like someone's tell me there is a brown eyeliner in here. Or a blue, sorry, did I say brown the first time? I meant blue. And here's me using something that looks green. <laughs> Get fucked. This is the shade. Crystal Crush, I think. These three eyeliners are actually pretty good from Colourpop and it's actually going on on top of that other eyeliner really well. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad actually. But I was wanting to get um, a colour for my lips. These are actually really, really pretty wee lip products, by the way. These are the glowing lips. So I have obviously the four shades here. This color here is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. So that's what I mean by they're kind of like a hybrid between like a lipstick and a lip balm slash lip gloss, whatever. But there's like an orangey shade on here, which I think would actually look really, really nice with um, like my top and just like the whole makeup look and stuff. This is Botanicals. This colour here is actually like a, it is kind of like a darkish nude colour, still really really pretty. Adults only. Oh, is this another nude colour? Oh yeah it is. Okay. Um, but that's what that one looks like there. But this one, this is the one I'm actually thinking I'm using today. Desert Aura. Desert Aura? <laughs> it's kind of like an aura, kind of like a corally orange. I think this would look actually really, really pretty. Of course, I'm gonna look like a clown. You know, like big blue eyes and like orange lips. Away! But that color is just beautiful. These are really nice, especially for a summer. Like they're not heavy feeling. There's obviously like color there, there's tint there. But they're not like completely opaque. Definitely like a nice wee hybrid between um, a lipstick and a lip balm, I would say. There's obviously like a nice wee glossy finish off them as well. That's what's kind of finished though, isn't it right? No, it's not even. I was wanting to actually apply one of these mascaras. Oh, me, what one? These mascaras are literally old as the hills, but oh well. <laughs> this one. This one, I think this one might be a wee bit too dark, whereas I want it kind of to be a wee bit brighter. Don't like it anymore. Why did I, what, what is going on? Have I ruined it? Okay, see, before I change my mind about anything else, I'm just gonna leave it at this. <laughs> but this is the completed look, guys. I hope you still will enjoy this absolute disaster. The other parts that I did use to be listed and linked down below in the description box for you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That will also be listed and linked down below as well. Hope you're all safe and well. Please be kind to get yourselves and each other, and I shall see you in my next video.